So we bring up Pokemon Go today because it's a five-day-old app that is sweeping the nation. And uh, we've gotten just a ton of phone calls. We've learned about it. I actually played it during a commercial break. And as Gator referred to them, three dip blanks just walked past our studios holding their phones out in front of them, obviously playing Pokemon Go. Clearly. You will see this. Three dipsticks just walk right past. <laughs> yeah, is that the term you Staring used? at, well, it's not what I did. I said something similar to that. Staring at their phones, occasionally looking up to talk to each other, and they kept looking at the phone. Yep. Trying to find that, whatever the hell it is that they're looking at, uh, the, the Charmander or so. I what the, what the hell is this stuff? The the Ratatat -tat Pikachu is that another one? Yeah. Yep. God help us. These these guys walking together, all with their phones out. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it looked a little. Funny. I've never walked down this trail before. What's it gonna lead to? Pikachu! Ah. Anyway, you're going to see this. I guarantee you're going to see it. I'll guarantee this. You will not see me download that app. I, I think you guarantee should. that. I think you should. For so As somebody who likes to walk. I love to walk. I think it would increase the enjoyment of your walk. It would not. It would, you would have. It's a bit of a challenge. The last thing I want to do when I'm walking is stare at my phone. Am I any closer to the Pikachu? Where is this Charmander going to go? When will I turn into a chameleon? Are you kidding me? It's big fun, man. Moronic. All right. Um, Derek Jeter marries Hannah Davis over the weekend. Now, mm. it sort of, every guy does this. In the alternate universe that we live in, Hannah Davis was yours. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you... I put a claim in early on. Yeah, you guys, TV guys know how this works. And that is... If you're the first amongst your group of friends to identify a new hottie, she becomes yours. Ladies, you might not know anything about this, but this is how it works. Right? Hank, I mean, this Hank is, was quick on uh, Vanessa Hudgens or Selena Gomez. Who was the, the reporter um, for ESPN? Kaylee Hartung? Yeah. Kang was early on, on Kaylee Hartung. Kang's early on a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> He's got time on his hands to, to make to stake his claim. Um, I'm, I mean, I got to be honest. Robin Mead is mine. Yeah, 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 that's that's how it works. Uh, but Gator had claimed Hannah Davis early on. Yes. Jeter's forty two. She is twenty six. Every single guy. He's a king. He's a king. But start thinking about that. If you're in your 40s, and you and it's not Hannah Davis, just some girl you meet, she's 26. Could you do it? What do you mean by do it? Marry her. Oh, well, that's different. Marry her. There's one thing, that, like the whole... Make the commitment, that yeah, whole thing, yeah, put go, a ring on it. Go for a throw is different from right. spending the rest <laughs> of your life together, right? Yeah. Could you do that? Could you go back 16 years younger and make that commitment? Because I think dating, okay, dating, I think most guys in their 40s say, uh, could be kind of fun. But to marry. Marry. And then, like, I'll reverse the question and watch everybody say no. Guys, could you do it to someone 16 years older than you? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> could I date someone 16 years younger than me? Yep. No, marry, not date, marry. Got to start with a date. Right, but but what Jeter did was marry somebody sixteen years younger than him. It, and and let's okay. It, it I get you married Hannah Davis. Okay, guys, we get it. But yeah, but would you, you know, just average girl off the street? I'm, I'm not saying ugly. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying not a sports suit, a sports suit, a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model. You know, because of my age, it's becoming an our age, if you will it's become a little more acceptable because you get to that latter stages of the 20s. Mm -hmm. It's different than, you know, when 16 years difference brought you to a 22-year-old. No. Hell no. And, you know, I have certain criteria in my mind of what's going to work out that have nothing to do with looks, okay? You know, at, at my age and, and at the, their age, we have to agree on certain things. Kid, kids being one of them would have to be some kind of thing you have to figure out. I mean, you got you got the big issues to deal with. 
but you know, I'd have to find somebody pretty special to, to think that that's the case. I mean, I'm not somebody who's going to say, oh, yeah, why not? Because, yeah, I date 28-year-olds all the time. Or no, no. We tweeted this question out. Could you date somebody, could you marry somebody 16 years older than you? And then the first two answers we got, Mr. Jones, depends. Is she rich? Next one from uh, D-Tip. Nope. Don't even have to think about it. That's for 16 years older. 16 years younger, I mean, look, there's some of you right now in our listening audience that that would be a crime. So we get that the answer would be no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of the, the, the biggest age gap of a girl that I've dated, and it's it's not 16, but it's been more than, probably a dozen, maybe 12. Oh, really? Yeah. I never got anywhere close to that. I think this is one of those things that on paper sounds great. Like, like you put together a roster on paper, it looks great, but then when you when well, they get out on the floor, it struggles a little bit. Well, yeah, because there are obvious differences when you get an age gap like that. Mm -hmm. You start referencing something, and they're like, what? You're like, really? You don't know that? <laughs> okay. You don't remember Y2K? 